front of the goal. On right wing in his own line for Allison. In the middle at center for Tukey, crossing the ball to the board line. Tim Tukey into the circle, wheeling in behind the goal. He centered it right through the legs of Knockbauer in front. All the way to the right point. Mokasek is on as Allison holds it in. Left point for Chikrin with a shot, and that was wide. Rebound of the ball to the board right corner. Digging it out is Carl Mokasek. He swept it around the boards up on left wing at his own line for Jim Magoo. Now Magoo sends Mokasek on his way at center. Carl Mokasek storming in with the Hershey line right in front for Rizzling. Checked by Chikrin who was in his way. Mokasek digs it out the right boards. He centers it all the way through the left circle for Vulcan. Vulcan left it on the boards for Jim Magoo pulling up on the hash mark, centering it in front. Halted by Zakowski. He sends the puck skipping to the Baltimore line. Tarion with Dobbin Ford checking, drove it in behind the Hershey goal. Covering in the left corner is Stevens. John Stevens checked by Magoo, poked it in behind the goal, tracked down there by Mike Murray. Now Murray evading the check of Loney, who fell at the backboards, left it on the right boards for Chikrim. Jeff Chikrin just sends it wiggling all the way to the net. Miter Gannett, who delivers it across to the right defense for Vulcan in the middle at center for Rizzling. Over there is she line. Gary Rizzling sends Troy Wallhopper scampering after it behind the goal, centering in front for Loney. He was checked by Chikrim. Puck squirms to the right corner boards. Digging it out for Hershey, Craig Berube in pursuit. Vulcan who rode him off at the backboards. Now Mickey Vulcan kicked it loose, but Loney was spilled by Chikrin. Chikrin upended from behind by Loney, contained right point by Melange, who whistled the shot, and that was wide. The rebound carried out the backboards, all the way back into the Baltimore zone, where Tarion is chased to behind the goal by Dobbin. Continuous action. Now Dobbin stole it from Tarion behind the goal. Brian Dobbin centers to the crease, blocked by Mickey Vulcan. And Vulcan just sweeps it down ice to alleviate the sudden pressure. Armstrong to reach it ahead of the onrushing Roger. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live for the Baltimore Arena in Baltimore. 11.31 left middle period, 2-1 to one, skipjacks. And the face off to the right of Gannett. Controlled behind the goal. Gertz muscles his man Lamaru in the corner, but Lamaru worked it loose, centering in front. Charles Worth stepped in front of the anticipating Kevin Maxwell. Now Todd Charles with on left wing at his own line for Loney in the middle at center of all Hopper with a Hershey line. He tried to drag it through Steve Smith in front. Smith rode him off. Controlled top of the Hershey right circle by Lamaru. Across on the left side for Maxwell. Jacks four checking tenaciously. Maxwell in front of the goal for Armstrong on left wing at center for Smith. Bodied by Belanger and fired back behind the goal by Dave Gertz. Captured behind the goal by Armstrong. Action halt and there'll be a Hershey panelist tonight. Don Knockbauer for the Bears on the faceoff. All ready to go, sticks come down, one by Lemieux, guiding it to the left point for Tarion, along the boards for Bork, behind the goal for Lemieux, centering it in front, Mokasek fanned out of a contained center point by Tarion, left circle for Bork, side of the goal for Lemieux, left circle for Bork with a shot, oh, and the goal, Tenor Jensen spears that one, taking a seat in the crease, no further play, 10-39 left. Second period, 144 for what appears to be developing into a very formidable looking skipjack power play. Don Knockbauer and Elaine Lemieux again on the face of oil. Lemieux, Bork, and Mokasek have been uh, passing uh, very crisply. They've been uh, hatching plays, executing plays around that Hershey goal. All ready to go, it'll be Knockbauer and Lemieux on the face of the Jacks would like to stretch their lead. All ready to go, waiting for the linesmen. Sticks calm down, Lemieux claims at top of the circle, Mokasek to the left point for Tarion, he was trapped off balance, too deep and it skipped off his stick into the Baltimore zone. Mickey Vulcan from in front of the goal to organize the power play. Now Vulcan twisting and turning his way to center, crossing the Hershey line, and Carl Mokasek was offside on the left wing for the Jacks. No further play. So the faceoff will move outside the Hershey line. 129 for the power play, 10-24 for the period. 2-1, to one, skip Jacks. The second period has been the Jacks' downfall this season. Entering tonight's game, they've been outscored 42 to 30. It's the only period, amazingly enough, that the Skipjacks have been outscored in this year. Now Mickey Vulcan on his bicycle, curling back to his own line, lugging it to center, drove it off the Hershey backboards, charging after the carom in the left corner is Bork. Behind the goal for Lemieux, checked by Stevens, dug out by Stothers. Surrounded by Bork and Mokasek, Stothers pass blocked by Mokasek at the left boards, all the way across to the right point for Vulcan, it jumped over his stick to center. Vulcan outside the line. 
evading the check of Allison, not once but twice neatly, slipping it for Lemieux. Lemieux at the Hershey line, sends Phil Bork barging in after it behind the goal, into the corner for Lemieux. Now the count, still has it in the corner, behind the goal for Bork, side of the goal for Lemieux, behind the goal for Bork, it skidded off his stick, Bork charges after it, right wing boards, dishes into the corner for Lemieux. Now Lemieux into the right circle, trying to center it, Allison blocked it, it comes back to Lemieux on the right boards. Now Elaine Lemieux entering the circle, behind the goal for Mokasak, right in front for Lemieux with a shot, chips in the save, Mokasak has the rebound behind the goal, to the right point for Vulcan with a shot, Jets in the save, another Hershey penalty coming up. Mocha sack behind the goal, centers in front, Vulcan shot blocked by Tukey. It comes back to Vulcan at center point. Vulcan shot, knocked out in front by Stothers. And now... So the Jacks actually have a two-man advantage for 11 seconds, and they'll have a full power play for two minutes. So the Jacks' power play actually remains intact because Stothers received a double minor. Face up left of Jensen, Hershey goal, and the Jacks have a two-man advantage for 11 seconds as Magoo controlled it to the right point for Gertz. Now Gertz from center point. Top of the left circle for Charlesworth. Center point for Gertz with a shot right through the crease. Rizzling was cracked down by Chikrin before he could reach it. And Jeff Chikrin from the right corner drove it down ice. Smith is back on. Jacks have a one-man advantage for 140. Now Dave Gertz at his own line on left wing at center for Jim Magoo. He lashes it around the Hershey backboards all the way to the right point for Dave Gertz. Across to the left point for Charlesworth and it slithered outside the blue line. And all the Jacks are caught offside. 8.35 for the middle period and 1.29 remaining for another Skip Jacks power play. The Jacks have certainly had the opportunities to extend this one goal cushion. They'd like to extend it to a two-goal pillow, which has been a rarefied atmosphere for them this season. Jacks on the power play thus far tonight are 0 for 3. They saw will be outside the Hershey line right below us on the skipjack left side. Lemieux and Maxwell will be the principal, still 129 for the power play. Sticks come down, one by Maxwell. Along the right boards at the edge of the circle, Steve Smith cradles it, and he rifles it down ice. Now Mickey Vulcan from behind the goal leaves for Lemieux. The count in turn gives it back to Vulcan. Back to Lemieux in the middle at center over the Hershey line on right wing for Belage. Belage centers to the crease from Okasak and a rising snow shower. He failed to convert, but Okasak holds it in left point. Right point for Vulcan. He drove it into the left corner for Lemieux. Now Lemieux wrapped up by Armstrong, but he maintains control beautifully. Slipped it side of the goal for Mokasek, and Armstrong at the long reach broke it up, clearing it to the blue line, where Charlesworth failed to hold it in. Maxwell poked it past him to center. Control by Armstrong. Ian Armstrong romping in over the Baltimore line. Right circle for Gillis. The backhander didn't make it through to the crease. Knocked down by Vulcan. Jacks break out. Vulcan on right wing at center of Mokasek over the Hershey line, leaving it for Vulcan right in front with a shot! Oh, what a save by Jensen with Todd Charlesworth sprawling into the crease, both he and Jensen. 27 of the second of the opening period with his 11th goal of the season. Face off circle left of Jensen. Lemieux won at center point. Tarion pinches in. He's caught. Tukey is pulled down by Tarion. There'll be a penalty coming up as Tukey steers it into the Baltimore zone where Knockbauer on the right boards was rubbed up. Face-off will be rim of the circle left of Steve Gannett in the Jacks' goal. Only three shots on Gannett in this period. From the face-off, puck behind the Baltimore goal. Scraped up the backboards by Todd Charlesworth. A breakaway pass on right wing at center for Rizzling, who had penetrated. He tears after it behind the goal. Rizzling centers in front, and Allison was there in the nick of time to seize it. Now Ray Allison behind the goal for Smith. Penley over to Stothers. Hershey has the man advantage. Now Smith in his own left circle in the middle at center for Allison. It skipped off his stick behind the Baltimore goal. Gannett comes out, clears it around the boards. That was stolen by Allison. He coughed it up to Magoo in the left circle. And Jim Magoo just drifts it down ice for the skipjacks. 120 for the Hershey power play. Tim Tukey, the league's leading score. Underway on left wing at center for Smith. Chugging in over the Baltimore line. Stripped of the puck beautifully along the boards by Charlesworth. But Troy Loney inadvertently launched it into the Hershey bench 
No further play. 6.41 remaining in the middle period. 1.12 for the Jacks penalty to Michelle Terrian. The single minor to Jacks captain Phil Bork has expired with the stoppage of play. Face off will be rim of the circle right of Gannett in the skip Jacks goal. Jacks have outshot her. She 11 to 3 in the second period, 25 to 12 throughout. Lamru won the face off on the right point. Allison along the right boards for Dobbin. Back to the right point for Ray Allison. Allison edge of the circle for Dobbin. Dobbin back center point for Allison with a rising shot. Really a minute. Carlson control it from Knock Bowery sends Bork chasing after it behind the goal and Phil Bork. Just uh, hoist that one over the glass into the crowd deep in the Baltimore left corner below us. Bork now has dropped back to defense, demonstrating that dimension of versatility that he lends to this club while the Jacks are shorthanded. And this is really a, one of our first critical junctures of this game tonight as we are now embarking on the final minutes of this second period and the Jacks clinging to this fragile two to one lead. Carlson and Nachbauer on the face off right of Gannett. All ready to go, sticks come down. Puck not dropped, Carlson I believe has been banned. So Troy Loney will move in and assume a position. It'll be Loney and Knockbauer. All ready to go. They present arms. One by Knockbauer, top of the circle. Corralled by Maxwell, Maxwell shoots, blocked by Loney, it squirms in front. Carlson is there and he wraps it off the right boards, down ice. Ray Allison will cavort behind the goal to cradle it. 37 seconds for the Bears power play. Now Allison with four goals against the Jacks this season is underway at his own line. On left wing at center for Smith. He stroked it in behind the Baltimore goal. Gannett lets it go for Bork. Now Phil Bork to the left side of the goal is tripped by Maxwell as he sails it down ice. And there'll be a Hershey of a Jensen in the Hershey goal. Mike Murray who has scored only two goals all season, both game winners. Opposing the Jacks count, Elaine Lemieux. From the face off, Murray controlled it along the left boards and he'll start out. They stream out three abreast. Murray at center, over the ball to the more line for Chikrin, wheeling in front, thump from behind by Mokasak. And Todd Charlesworth on the right side, throw it in Hershey territory. John Stevens had his pocket picked behind the goal by Lemieux. Now Lemieux squeezed at the back boards though by Tim Tukey who covered up. The puck controlled on the Hershey right side by Murray, evading the check of Charles Gorth at his own line. Now Murray across on left wing at center zone, just steers it into the Baltimore zone. The Jacks' power play is underway. Now Phil Bork in front of his own goal. Bork at his own line, evading the check of Gillis, romping to center over the Hershey line. Bork swoops in behind the goal, pulls up in the left corner, behind the goal for Lemieux. Centers in front, Bork shot, score! Phil Bork punctuates it with a somersault. The Jets lead three to one. Aaron Jensen at 15.04. Bork from Mokasak and Elaine Lemieux and that triumvirate has struck twice here tonight. Lemieux assisting and Mokasak assisting on both of Bork's goals. From the faceoff, Todd Charlesworth thunders out of the pack at center, crossing the Hershey line, left it on the right point for Melange, shooting right on. Stick save Jensen, the rebound in front, gobbled up by Dobbin. He'll break back at center for Hershey. He sailed it off the Baltimore backboards, covering the carom in the corner of Melange, coughed it up to Lamaru, back to the left point for Stothers, it danced off his stick to center. Stothers all the way back to his own line for Chickren on the right side. In the middle at center for Lamaru, just guides it in on goal. Gannett sets it up behind the goal for Dave Gertz. Gertz drifted it off the board to the Hershey line. Stothers controls. Across on the right defense for Chikrin. Jam by Loney who rolls it right in front. And Zakowski reaches for it there. In the middle at center for Lamaru. Breaking away over the Baltimore line. Right in front for Dobbin. Across to the open side of the crease for Lamaru. A great block by Rowan Valhofer. Saved the day. And Loney drove it to the Hershey line. Covering up is Dobbin. Now Dobbin left it on the defense for Steve Smith. Smith circles the zone, heads for center, hits the ball to more line with a shot. Right on, stick save Gannett. Rebound to the left boards for Rowe. Up the boards at center for Troy Loney in full gallop. Loney over the Hershey line, wrapped up assertively by Smith. 
They jostle for it there vigorously. Still no whistle. Dragged into the corner by Volhoffer, trailing. Now Volhoffer behind the goal for Loney. Squeezed at the backboards by Smith. They tangle for it truculently. Loney spilled by Smith and digging it out left side of the goal. For her, she is Knockbauer. In the middle at center for Stevens. Over the ball, the more line on the right boards for Gillis. Left at right circle for Baruby with a shot. Belanger deflects it airborne. It lands in the left corner. Volhoffer is there. He's thumped in the corner by Knockbauer. They jam forward and lace off circle left of Gannett in the ball. The more goal. Jackson outshot her. She 27 13. This has been a very impressive performance by the Skipjacks tonight. From the face of Michelle Tyrion behind the goal, up the right boards for Tevens in the middle at center for Carlson. He floats it in off the Hershey backboards, charging after it, penetrating behind the defense. Rizzling, centering in front, blocked by Stoller, shouldered lustily at the backboards by Rizzling. Jensen loses his stick, dug out in the left corner by Tevens, centering in front. Magoo was checked by Chickren before he could squeeze the trigger. Covering is Chickren on the left boards. And Jeff Chickren just sends it into Baltimore territory. Mickey Vulcan backpedals deep at his own right circle, shadowed by Maxwell. Up on left wing at center for Rizzling, checked by Chickren who feeds from Maxwell over the Baltimore line. Along the left boards for Dukey with a sharp angle shot, and that's wide. Rebound of the Baltimore left corner. Control by Mickey Vulcan. Now Vulcan at center for Jim Magoo, springing in over the Hershey line on left wing with a shot. Right on, Jensen the save, and he'll hold. No further play as Ian Armstrong waltzed. Now from the faceoff, Carlson controlled it left boards for John Del Cole. He swept it around the backboard to the right side for Mitch Wilson. Into the right corner for Carlson. Right in front for Wilson, the backhander. What a save by Jensen. Mitch Wilson without a goal in 27 games, foiled again. Back on the bear, Smith at center with the ball to the line on the left wing, working on Gertz, he snapped the shot. Gonna kick that away with Quicksilver agility. Rebound behind the goal, knock power centers to the crease. Lamaru rams at it as he slammed down by Carlson and Del Cole from behind and Gannett's on top of it on the goal crease. No further play. 1.30 remaining middle period and it's a three to one Skipjack's lead. That time Mitch Lamaru is at 15.04 on Baltimore's 29th power play goal of the season. Phil Bork connected for the second time tonight as 11th. Mocha Sack and Lemieux the assist. They've assisted on both of their line mates' goals tonight. From the face up, puck behind the goal. Dobbins centers in front, knocked down by Rowe, who slams Lamaru to the backboard. Then Loney upsets Knockbauer behind the goal. Action is halted as Hershey bodies were dropping and Skipjacks were not. Boy, Troy Loney just overpowered Knockbauer at the backboard after Mitch Lamaru was uh, eased into the boards by Mike Rowe in a rather intimidating fashion. Circle right of Gannett is where the faceoff will be. Carlson and Lamaru. Lamaru controlled it, steering it to the side of the goal. Vulcan will seek shelter with it behind the goal with 116 for the period. Mickey Vulcan dishing to the left side of the goal for Rowe. Overpowering Knockbauer who fell. Row up the boards at his own line for Loney. At center for Roger Belanger. He hits the Hershey line with a shot. Pad save for Jensen. Rebound to the right boards. Dobbin ahead for Lamaru at center behind Row. Charging into the Baltimore line. Lamaru swooping in behind the goal. Working on Lemieux. Who rode him off. Now Lemieux without a stick. Gloved it back behind the goal. And once Mickey Vulcan touched it, the Jacks are called on the glove pass. But a very judicious maneuver by, Lam by Lemieux. He had lost his stick as he hurried back to check Mitch Lamaru, his fellow French-Canadian foe. And Lemieux, in losing his stick, still had excellent instincts and on ice awareness to direct it with his glove out of harm's way. And when Mickey Vulcan uh, touched it, the Jacks were called on the hand pass. Three to one, they lead it, 47 seconds for the middle period, and they've outshot Hershey by a staggering two to one margin of 31 to 15. Face off circle left of Gannett, Jack's goal. Steve Carlson and Mike Murray, the principals. 
One by Murray on the dot in the circle. Gillis shoots right through the crease. All the way to the left point for Stevens. Behind the goal for Gillis. Gillis into the right corner for Murray. Centering it. Halted in front by Carlson who was right there. Now Steve Carlson in the middle at center for Terry and he drove it out the Hershey backboard. Jigging in for the carom in the corner is Loney. Centering it in front. Bork dragged it wide. Puck to the right side of the goal. Carlson shoots, he scores! Steve Carlson, the Jacks lead four to one. the goaltender Jensen and zinged it right past him at 1938. That is Steve Carlson's first goal in 22 games, his fourth of the season and two of them against Hershey. A three goal unanswered, second period uprising. Now Phil Bork from center fired it wide. The rebound of the right boards and Ray Allison just sends it down ice. Michelle tearing to reach it behind the Baltimore goal at the horn. And a standing O the knee injury and Al Hill serving a second and final game of a two-game suspension for Hershey. From the faceoff, Steve Gannett and Goldwell left for the Jacks. And Goldwell right, Darren Jensen for Hershey. As Ian Armstrong on right wing at center, rockets it around the Baltimore backboards, all the way back to center zone on the Karen from the backboards. Kevin Maxwell on right wing, drove it back beyond the Baltimore goal, captured there by Mickey Vulcan. He snaps a crisp lead in the middle at center for Troy Ball Hopper. He dashes in over the Hershey line, drove it behind the goal, digging in after it is Loney. Loney was crunched at the backboards by Smith. Smith and Vollhofer in a fight, and Steve Smith just decks Troy Vollhofer with a right. Steve Smith sent Troy Loney sprawling at the backboards. Vollhofer became rather indignant with Smith's tactics. Four to one. Now from the faceoff at center point, Tarion. Right point for Mickey Vulcan. Right boards for Mokasak. Into the corner for Lemieux. That was disrupted by Chickern, who feeds knock power at his own line. Across on the right defense for John Stevens, who finds an opening and fires it down ice. Now Mickey Vulcan behind his own goal. He corrals it. He'll engineer the power play rush up the right board to his own line for Lemieux. Poke check neatly by Knockbauer, who was upended at center by Lemieux. But controlling is Jerry Gillis. All the way back to his own zone in the left circle for John Stevens. And Stevens again fires down ice. 318 for the power play. Now Michelle Terrian from behind his own goal. Leaves it in the right circle for a trailing Mickey Vulcan. In the middle at center for Lemieux. His pass aimlessly was broken up by Chickren who sends Tukey tearing after to the Baltimore line. Interrupted by Terry who lugs it to center. Feeding Bork on right wing over the Hershey line. Phil Bork barrels into the corner. Left it there for Mokasak. Jammed by Allison, spilled by Mokasek, the two sprawl, but it's contained at the left point by Tarion. Side of the goal for Mokasek. Centers to the crease. Oh, Magoo fired it wide. Rebound behind the goal. Magoo digs in after it, poking it to the right corner for Bork. Phil Bork to the right point for Vulcan, right in front for Magoo with a shot. An electrifying skate save by Jensen. The rebound whipped down ice by Allison. 226 for the power play. Vulcan circles in front of his own goal for the Jacks. Now Mickey Vulcan in the middle at center for Magoo. It's airborne, sailing over his head to the Hershey line where Mike Stiler's on the left defense, fires down ice. Now Mickey Vulcan from behind the goal to organize. Vulcan leading on right wing at center for Jim Magoo, chasing it down into the Hershey right corner. Magoo swooping in behind the goal, checked by Stothers, but he stole it from Stothers. Centers it, right circle for Tevens. Now Tevens, side of the goal for Magoo. Rizzling and Armstrong again, renewing acquaintances at the crease. Rizzling elbowed Armstrong and Mike Stothers suddenly enters the picture for Hershey. I believe there will be penalties. Gary Rizzling and Ian Armstrong were in front of the Hershey goal and they were tangling truculently. All ready to go, waiting for the linesmen. Sticks come down. 
One by Magoo at the right point. Vulcan across to the left circle for Belanger, coiling along the boards. Belanger comes off the boards, firing, and that was just wide. Rebound to the right point for Vulcan. He tried to direct it into the corner for Magoo. Along the boards for Tevens. Behind the goal for Magoo, right through his legs to Stothers. Stothers drove it around the right boards for Maxwell. And with Todd Charlesworth pitching in from the point, Maxwell steered it past him down ice. Now Mickey Vulcan behind the goal, sheds the check of Knockbauer. Mickey Vulcan in front of the goal, engineer the power play rush for the Jacks at his own line. Very deliberately at center, he fires it off the Hershey backboards. It lands with a thud to the side of the goal. Stevens flung it to the left corner for Knockbauer. Disrupted by Vulcan, poking it in the left corner for Magoo. Back to the right point for Belange with a shot. So Jensen the save, and in the meantime, Mickey Vulcan pulled up lame at the edge of the left circle closest to the boards, and he has been shaken up. Boy, Darren Jensen has been uh, peppered with a Zemu and Murray on the faceoff. One by Murray inside the line. Ray Allison reaches for it and sweeps it to the Baltimore line. Control by Charlesworth across on the right side for Terry and in the middle at center for Lemieux. He reaches the Hershey line. Elaine Lemieux wheels in the corner. Behind the goal for Bork. Back into the corner for Lemieux. Lemieux is checked by Stothers. Stothers surrounded by Mokasek and Lemieux still pins it nonetheless with his right skate. No further play at the Hershey backboards. 43 seconds remaining in the skip check power play. Face off circle left of Darren Jensen in the Hershey goal. Lemieux and Murray on the faceoff. All ready to go. One by Murray on the dot. He kicked to the boards, but Mokasak was there. He steers it behind the goal. Stothers checked by Bork. Controlled right side of the goal, though, by Allison, and he drove it to center. Charlesworth chased back to his own line by Tukey. Todd Charlesworth in the middle at center for Lemieux, who drove it in behind the Hershey goal. Allison fired it up the right boards for Tukey. At his own line for Stothers, evading the check of Charlesworth, who's caught. Stothers from center, though, he likes to just steer it in behind the Baltimore goal. 12 seconds for the power play. Now Michelle Terrian deep in the right corner, escapes the check of Murray. Up on right wing at center for Phil Bork. He barrels in over the Hershey line. He was pulled down from behind by Tukey. And there'll be a Hershey hooking penalty to Tim Tukey. He knew it. A Belanger goal at 3.41 early in the second period that snapped the one-all tie. It's been all jacked since then. Waiting for the linesman. One by Knockbauer behind the goal for Steve Smith. He laces it around the boards, but it's contained at the right point by Vulcan. Along the boards for Loney, poking it into the corner for Volhofer. Volhofer bolts in front, shoots, he scores! Troy Volhofer, power play goal. Jacks lead five to one. In the meantime, we have a fight developing behind the goal. The Jacks, Troy Loney, Hershey's John Stevens. Loney has lost his helmet. The fight broke out after Volhofer connected. Volhofer has Stevens now in a headlock. And he drops him to the ice. Loney is trying to, Loney I think is trying to apply the sleeper hold on Stevens. The linesmen are down on both knees. Referee hovering over the flesh pile of four. Now Loney reaches for the referee, uh, Matt Dunn, who will pull Troy Loney up. Now from the center ice face up. Inside the Hershey line on the left boards, Mike Stothers up the middle of his own line for Lamaru. Hounded and harried by Wilson, who shoved him into the boards, but Lamaru sent it. Rick Watt on the left wing at center for Stothers. At the ball to the line for Dobbin. Checked by Carlson, but trailing his Barubi on the right boards. Steered it into the corner, met for Lamaru, but Carlson stepped in front to intercede. Steve Carlson behind the goal for Mike Rowe up the right boards for Wilson. He sends Volhofer springing to center over the Hershey line on right wing, and Troy Volhofer was ridden off by Chickrim. And for the left boards, Barubi drove it to the ball to Mornette, Miter, Gannett. Gannett fired it up on left wing at center for Carlson. It skimmed off his stick into the Hershey zone. 
Mike Stathers on the left boards, collects it. Stathers at his own line in the middle of center for Lamaru. Drifting in front of the Baltimore goal, covering his roll. Roll to the left boards for Carlson. Back canning to center where Ian Armstrong on right wing. Fired it back to the right side of the Baltimore goal. Vulcan controls up the middle of his own line for Magoo on left wing at center for Carlson. Romping in over the RC line, centering in front for Wilson. Chucked by Stathers. Wilson digs it out the right wing boards as it came all the way through. He's surrounded there by Barubi and by Stothers. Stothers and Barubi overpowering Wilson. Barubi elbows Wilson across the back of the head and the fight is on. And while the linesman grabs Wilson, Barubi just pounds away at Mitch Wilson. Boy, what a break for Barubi. The linesman grabbed Wilson and as he grabbed Wilson in the form of a straight jacket, Barubi just pounded away at the skipjack right wing. Knocked. So now it's Hershey's turn for a power play. 5.55 the time. I think Wilson's reputation preceded him on that particular penalty. Boy, that was really a call that tests one's patience. The Baltimore Skipjacks penalty box door remains open and John Delco will serve Wilson's minor. Face will be outside the Hershey line across the way from us on the Jacks left side. From the face off, controlled at center zone by Maxwell, he'll curl back into his own zone in the left circle, shadowed by Atevins, dropped it off for Tukey. Across on the right side, back for Maxwell at his own line, escaping the check of Tevens. Maxwell at center, lashes it around the ball to more backboards, all the way into the right corner for Allison, waiting for it there. Allison in the corner, pulls up, Back to the right point for Maxwell. Left point for Brian Dobbins. Center point for Maxwell. It jumped off as Dick and Carlson sends Stevens breaking away at center. Over the Hershey line. Stevens is right in on goal with a shot. He rolled it wide. The rebound side of the goal. Stevens steered it right through the open side of the crease and Carlson couldn't reach it. Back come the Bears. Allison on right wing at center. Drove it into the ball to more left corner. Zooming in after this two key. Tim Tukey had it stripped off. Is dick by Charles Worth of the blue line for Tevens. He lunges to clear it out, but it's contained on the left point by Tukey. Right point for Allison. Ray Allison to the right boards for Dobbin. Back to the right point for Allison. Right circle for Dobbin. It jumped off. Is dick to the back boards. Gillis is there. Gillis to the right wing boards for Brian Dobbin. Right point for Allison. The shot was weak. Blocked by Carlson. Steve Carlson strides to center over the Hershey line. He's right in on goal, and he was spun around at the edge of the crease by Allison at the nick of time. Back comes Hershey. Maxwell heads to center. Kevin Maxwell over the Baltimore line. Left circle centers it all the way through to the right boards for Tukey. Tukey enters the circle, centers in front. Dobbin fanned on it. Buck into the corner. Dobbin digs it out. Left point for Gillis. Right point for Chickren. Left circle for Maxwell. Back to center point. Right point for Chikrin. Shot blocked by Rowe. Rebound left circle and Gillis fanned on it. You could feel the breeze up here. And Jim Magoo fires down ice. Two seconds for the power play. Chikrin from his own line. Drove it in behind the ball to more goal. Del Cole is on. Terry in behind the goal. Swept it around the right boards into the Hershey zone. Covering in front of the goal is Mike Stuthers. Stothers up the middle at center for Knockbauer, and he loads him down ice, hurrying to capture it behind the goal. And now from the faceoff, puck at the Hershey zone. Roger Belange at the right boards, pulled over by Chikrin as he drove it into the corner for Volhofer. Volhofer centers it, Belange shoots right off the right arm of Jensen into the crowd. No further play, Jensen never saw the shot until it struck his outstretched right arm and sailed over the glass into the crowd. Belanger was deep in the right circle and hid that shot on a screen and he really snapped it. Face on left of Jensen and there she goal. That time Volhofer really undressed Mike Stothers of the puck at the backboards. 
Belanger won the face of him, knocked power to the right point. Vulcan shoots right on Jensen, the save. The rebound in front of Volhofer couldn't reach it. He was muscled by Chikrin, who feeds on left wing at his own line for Zakowski. Zakowski drove it down ice. Zik, now John Dell, cold high, steps it around the right boards to control the over, skates it. Lamaru on the steal. Mitch Lamaru on the left board, spilled by Terrian, but contained left point by Chikrin. Behind the goal for Knock Bauer, he eludes him into the ball to the left corner. Controlled there by Del Cole, squeezed by Zikowski, who poked it in behind the goal for Knock Bauer to the right point for Stothers. Stothers passed, stolen by Del Cole, wrapping up the left side at center, two on one over the Hershey line from the circle. Del Cole shoots, he scores! John Del Cole and the Jacks lead six to one. Just gone coast to coast on the left side on the two-on-one fast break. And from inside the left circle, guns a-blazing. He fired a lightning bolt shot right past Darren Jensen, low far corner. Del Cole, second of the season, both at home, and it's his first goal and his first point for that matter in 12 games. Del Cole from Volhofer at 9.03 and Troy Volhofer with three points tonight. On a goal and two assists. Troy Loney with three points and three assists. Elaine Lemieux and Carl Mokasek each with two assists. And Phil Bork has led this Jacks brigade with three points on two goals and an assist. And with 10.57 left, Hershey coach John Paddock has lifted goaltender Darren Jensen to save him from any further humiliation as he has been under a constant siege from this aroused Skipjacks team that has rained a 40-shot salvo on Jensen. The new goaltender is John Kemp, the rookie from the University of Toronto. His first appearance against the Jacks this season as Dobbin barrels in over the ball to the world line, left circle with a backhander. Oh, get at the save. The rebound squirms to the doorstep. Falling out of this Charlesworth that snakes underneath him outside the crease. And in the span of four minutes and 22 seconds. From the face of Lemieux at his own line. On left wing, he drove it off the Hershey backboard to Karam's in front. Allison was there in front of the onrushing Phil Bork to control at his own line for Jerry Gillis. Bears away at center. Gillis hits the ball to more line. Left circle for Murray. Left it on the left point for Armstrong with a shot. Mokasak deflects it into the corner. Digging it out right side, Vulcan. Up the middle at his own line for Lemieux. Checked by Murray. Murray holds it in, left point for Dobbin. Dobbin sends it, skipping into the crease, and it's snapped up by the left glove of Gannett. No further play with Gillis breezing by the doorstep for Hershey. 10-0-1 remaining, third period. And we have an excellent crowd here tonight. 4,409. 4,409, an excellent crowd, and they have really enjoyed themselves tonight. This has been an awesome skipjacks attack. The six goals in one game equals a season high for a Baltimore team that entered tonight's game as the lowest scoring team in their own division and the second lowest scoring team in the entire American League. Let's amend that. The attendance tonight is 4,411. 4,411. And boy, they've been in a state of jubilation throughout. From the face of the Baltimore right boards. Commandeered by Mark Tevin. Scampering to center zone, reaching the Hershey line. Jabbed off Istik by Stothers. Controlled down the line by Zakowski. Across to the right defense for Chikrin. In the middle at center for Tuk. He was airborne. He couldn't handle it. Controlled inside the wall to the line by Charlesworth. Up the left side at center for Risling. Over the Hershey line for Tevins. Tevins checked by Chikrin. Comes back to center zone. Risling turned it over to Zakowski. Crossing the ball to the line. Right circle. John Zakowski's backhander deflected wide by... Charles Worth, the rebound in the right circle, and Tukey fired the stick safe for Gannett. Control by Terry and at his own line. He drove it into Hershey territory. 
Scampering after behind the goal, Chikrin, he turned it over behind the goal to Magoo. Jammed at the backboards by Stothers, they'll lock it up. No further play. 9-12 appearance against the Skipjacks this season. Darren Jensen was undefeated in all five of his previous starts against the Jacks until tonight's Waterloo. Now Magoo won the face of left point for Falk and he loads the gun, shoots right on. Oh, kept the save. And he'll swallow up the rebound with Gary Risling crossing by dangerously. And that'll produce an encore to the right of this Hershey goaltender. Boy, the Jacks just peppered Darren Jensen tonight. Magoo and Lamaru on the faceoff. All ready to go, waiting for the linesmen. Three Jacks with three points tonight. One by Lamaru, deep of the right corner, Stevens. Slips the check of Magoo at the backboards and Rizzling in the left corner, dishing to Armstrong up the middle at center of Lamaru. At the Baltimore line, right wing for Dobbin, who tried to penetrate behind the defense to chase it down behind the goal. Gannett's charged out to poke it away, but digging it out behind the goal is Dobbin anyway to the left point for Stevens. Right point for Armstrong, the shot didn't make it through. Knocked down in front by Vulcan, who cleared to center. Controlled that center zone by Knockbauer and left wing, ramping it off the boards behind the Baltimore goal. Gannett swept it around the boards. On right wing for Vulcan, jolted by Knockbauer, dug out in the corner by Lamaru, centering in front, and Dobbin scores! Brian Dobbin, and Hershey halts the hemorrhaging after 8.25 remaining for regulation. 6-2, Skipjacks. And we'll await the official announcement on the penalties and the goal. From the face of it, skids in behind the Baltimore goal, tracked down by Tarion. Now Michelle Tarion along the left boards for Del Cole. Back behind the goal for Tarion. Hershey really forechecking now. Now Tarion on the left wing in his own line for Del Cole. He lost control at center to Gillis. Back to his own line. He directs it on the right side for Kevin Maxwell. Now Maxwell, Rinkwater left wing at center for Stothers in full flight over the Baltimore line. Centering in front, and Murray was checked by Carlson as he squeezed the trigger. Steve Carlson deep in the right corner, sends Phil Bork barreling up the right side at center. Over the Hershey line, swept off his stick to center zone by Chikrin. Covering up is Mike Rowe. At the center red line and right wing for Steve Carlson, who drove it behind the Hershey goal. Kemp. Swept it away from the onrushing John Dell. Cole around the right boards for Maxwell. Back in front of the goal for Chef Chikrin. Chikrin lugs it to center. Drove it off the Baltimore backboards. Covering the carom on the right side is Mickey Vulcan. Now Vulcan romps to center over the Hershey line into the right circle, into the corner. He pulls up. Steers it behind the goal for Del Cole. Del Cole centered it right through the crease. Oh, and Volhofer was checked at the doorstep by Armstrong. Controlled on the Hershey left boards by Baruby. Craig Baruby's cross ice pass knocked down at center by Volhofer, who was peeling back to back check and a deflect off to the stick over the glass into the crowd. No further play. 7 05 left, third period. Skipjack six, Hershey two. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Baltimore Skipjacks Hockey Network. It was Brian Dobbins seventh for Mitch Lamaru at 11.35. Gertz and Lamaru then received roughing penalties also at 11.35. Now at center zone, Armstrong. Across on the left side for John Stevens. Stevens drove around the Baltimore backboards, knocked down neatly by Gannett for Vulcan. Up on right wing at his own line for Bellage. Across on left wing at center for Troy Loney, thundering in over the Hershey line, spilled along the boards by Armstrong, who's cracked by the trailer. Troy Volhofer digging it out in the meantime behind the Hershey goal is John Stevens, the rookie from Oshawa. Now Stevens at his own line, lugs it up the right side at center, rolling it in behind the Baltimore goal. Gannett sets it up for Vulcan. Now Mickey Vulcan will start out. He has Belanger and Loney with him. Vulcan at center over the Hershey line, and Loney is up.
Now from the face off, Michelle Terrian behind the Baltimore goal. His pass stolen in the corner by Zakowski, bolting in front. The backhander knocked down in front by Charlesworth, clearing to the line. Chickren's rising point shot off the glove of Gannett. It lands at the back of the net. Charlesworth tries to kneel on it. Pride loose though by Dobbin. Dobbin centering pass at the back of the net again. Knockbauer is there. They're really bumping and grinding at the backboards. Dobbin stapled to the boards by Mokasek, who tries to kneel down on the puck and succeeds. No further play. 5.40 remaining, third period. It's 6-2, Skipjack. Stay tuned with the Skipjack's postgame show after tonight's electrifying action. Want to remind you, these same two teams will stage an encore duel tomorrow night in Hershey as the Jacks are 5.40 away from a major breakthrough in the fact that they will win their first game in seven tries against Hershey dating back to last season. The Jacks and Hershey tomorrow night with airtime on the Skipjack Hockey Network, 7.15, and then Baltimore will be back home Sunday, 3.30 matinee affair to oppose another Southern Division rival, Binghamton. That's the Jacks and Binghamton Sunday afternoon, 3.30, right here at the Baltimore Arena. Gary Risling and Don Knockbauer on the faceoff. They draw swords. Puck not dropped. Take two. Risling has been banished. So it'll be Jim Magoo, a natural center anyway, and Don Knockbauer. All ready to go. Sticks come down. One by Magoo. Deep in the right corner. Terrian feeds up the boards for Tevens at the line. In the middle at center of Risling and it traveled two lines. No further play as Gary Rist in the American League. From the faceoff, Charlesworth at his own line. He evades the clutches of Dobbin at center. He drove it in behind the Hershey goal, digging it after to Zikors Zikowski. John Zikowski around the right wing boards at his own line for Dobbin. Rick Watt on the left wing at center and Ackbauer crossing the Baltimore line, leaving it in the circle for Stiler, centering it through the crease. Dobbin couldn't convert. Controlled on the Jacks left boards by Charlesworth. He sends Magoo streaking after it into the Hershey right corner, skated off by Zakowski, who peeled back. Zakowski cleared the blue line, contained left point by Rowe, a kangarooing puck. He whacked at it anyway, knocked down in the circle by Chikrin. In the middle at center for Dobbin, Hershey away as Dobbin drove it off the Baltimore back boards, covering the Karam Gannett. He drove it up on left wing himself at his own line for Gary Risling, motoring to center. Risling crossing the Hershey line at the top of the left circle, centering in front. Magoo fires right on. Oh, kept the save as that one penetrated like a laser. No further play in the diminutive Jim Magoo with the Hershey defender draped all over his back. Still powered the shot, and it was a heavy one. And Kemp had to be very alert. 439 for regulation, 6-2 Jacks. Phil Bork with two goals and an assist tonight. Troy Volhofer with a goal and two assists. Troy Loney with three assists. In the meantime, Carl Mokasak and Elaine Lemieux have each assisted twice. Steve Carlson has caged to Singleton, as has John Delcole, who went coast to coast on his blast. They saw will be right of the goaltender Kemp. Lemieux and Lammer on the face up. The goal. Bidel call at 9.03 in this third period. Chased the goaltender, Darren Jensen, under a hail of pucks. Now from behind the goal, covering up is Steve, John Stevens. The rookie is underway to his own line on the left side. Motoring to center over the Baltimore line for Lamaru, who was about two states offside. Mike Rowe took it away anyway and fires down ice. Kemp himself, the goaltender, drove it into the corner and Lemieux's lurking in the shadows on the steal. He tried to center one and Lamaru recovered it. Now Mitch Lamaru at his own line leading for Maxwell. Kevin Maxwell will curl back inside his own line, shadowed by Lemieux. Lemieux chases him all the way back in front of his own goal. Finally, he dishes to the left boards. Maxwell does to Stevens. Up the left boards at center for Jerry Gillis. Muscled from behind by Mokasak, who really gave him a rough ride along the boards as the puck skims in behind the Baltimore goal. Rowe controls on left wing at center for Bork. He sends Carl Mokasek streaking after it behind the goal into the left corner for Bork, squeezed there by Chikram. Corralled on the right boards by Kevin Maxwell. He wrapped it into Baltimore territory. Mickey Vulcan will curl back behind the goal with 3.30 to go. Now Vulcan across to the right circle for Rowe. Mike Rowe his own line in the middle at center for Phil Bork. He couldn't quite reach it. At the Hershey line, it's knocked back to center zone by Chikrin, controlled by Vulcan on right wing. Shy of the Hershey line, he sends it in on goal. Kemp steers it behind the goal for Chikrin, around the right boards for Tukey, clearing to the line. Charlesworth contains left point. 
Drove it across to the right corner of El Cole in the circle for Wilson. Now Wilson coils along the right boards. Centers it in front. Del Cole fired once. Del Cole fires twice. And the goaltender Kemp closes the door and we have a fight. Chickren and Del Cole at the backboards. Jeff Chickren trying to grab the shorter Del Cole in a headlock, but he has a handful with the skip checks rambunctious left wing. Del Cole has the Hershey player pressed to the backboard. It's the rookie Jeff Chikrin from Kingston. Del Cole reaches across the linesman and tries to uh, pound a Chikrin across his nameplate on his back. And finally, this Sunday afternoon, a 3.30 matinee affair, they'll be tangling with Binghamton. Face-off circle right of John Kemp and the Hershey goal. From the draw, in the corner, Stothers was spilled by Loney. Carlson left boards, left point for Charlesworth, who fired it wide with a wicked shot. Rebound into the right corner. Gertz barging in from the point to force the issue. Dave Gertz behind the goal for Loney. Jammed to the backboards by Armstrong, but dug loose by Carlson. Steve Carlson left point for Charlesworth with a shot. It didn't make it through to Wilson at the edge of the crease. Knocked down by Murray. Puck behind the goal. Wilson kicks it with a skate into the right corner for Loney. Now Troy Loney pulls up along the boards. Overpowering Murray, Loney bolts right in front. Loads the gun, center point for Charlesworth. He didn't expect it, his stick wasn't on the ice. And he eludes him all the way into the Baltimore zone. Digging in after it, right circle, Zakowski right in front for Neckbauer, and he fired it wide. Rebound to the Baltimore left corner, Charlesworth clear to the line. Allison's point shot knocked down by Carlson. Jacks away, Carlson on right wing at center for Wilson. He just drove it into the Hershey right corner. Jacks changing under two minutes left. Now Ray Allison at his own line for the Bears, motoring the center zone, shooting right on. Stick save, Gannett. Rebound in front, collected by Terrian, seeking refuge with it behind the goal. Michelle Terrian leading on right wing at center for Risling, and he eludes him all the way in front of the Hershey goal. Stothers in front of the onrushing Elaine Lemieux, sails it to the Baltimore line. Control by Rowe, breakaway pass for Lemieux over the Hershey line. Lemieux is in on goal, he shoots, he scores! Elaine Lemieux! Jacks lead 7-2. Perfect breakaway pass. And he just streaked through the defense right in on goal. And John Kemp feels the Skipjacks offensive wrath for the first time tonight. Lemieux becomes the fourth Skipjack with three points tonight. Lemieux's 11th, his fifth at home. Mike Rowe on the breakaway pass, the single assist at 18.30. That is a season high for the Jackson goal production, seven. Now Bork for the left circle, shoots right on the pad, saved by Kemp. Rebound behind the goal. Bork with a minute left. Into the right corner of a Rizling, centering it, left point. Rowe shoots right on. Oh, Kemp closes the door as the rampage continues. 53 seconds remaining as the Baltimore Skipjacks have absolutely dismantled Hershey here tonight. Lemieux on the breakaway. The Jacks with two consecutive three-goal periods as they have absolutely dominated this one. They have outshot Hershey 46-22. And in the third period, the Jacks with 13 shots. Hershey with six. Jacks have outshot Hershey 32-13 through the last two periods. Now from the faceoff, Bears control in front of the goal, John Stevens. Hounded from behind by Bork, who overpowered him on the steal. Bork on left wing, barges in over the Hershey line, through the defense, right in on goal with a shot. Kemp the save, the rebound in front of him before Loney could squeeze the trigger. Kemp dove on top of it. Four feet in front of the crease, no further play. Boy, the Jacks have just been relentless tonight with this assault. And the face-off right of Kemp in the Hershey goal. Should be an interesting rematch tomorrow night. First Jacks victory this season against Hershey in this their sixth try. Belanger and Lamoureux, Belanger won at left point row, shoots! Oh, that struck Lamoureux and bowled him over on the dot in the circle. It squirms to the right circle. Belanger shoots, he scores! Roger Belanger, and the Jacks lead eight to 
The shot deflected across to the right circle, and Roger Bobage seized it and drilled it upstairs at 1934. And the Jacks are really culminating this one with a resounding rush. The last two goals, 64 seconds apart, Bobage second of the night in his ninth of the season. From the faceoff, Phil Bork on the assist, four points for Bork tonight. At the ball, the more line. Stathers at the left point, poked off as Dick by Loney, charging the center over the Hershey line. Loney shoots right on. Pad save, Kemp with Bork streaking through the doorstep as the horn sounds. The game is over. A standing ovation from this huge crowd of 4,411 as the Baltimore Skipjacks celebrate an awesome performance here tonight as they absolutely destroy their arch rivals, the Hershey Bears, with a three goal second period outburst and a four goal third period blitz.